you're like me, you probably have a box or a drawer full of old devices. Like this, holds phones. This is a Galaxy S3, I think. Google Pixel original. This one's seen some damage. Fire tabs, kids old fire tabs. We're gonna turn these devices into voice assistants. Hey Cal. Hi there. What's on the calendar today? You have filming from 9.30 to 11.15 a.m. followed by kids soccer at 11.30 to noon and another session at 1.30 to 2 p.m. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do that, but before we dive in, I just wanna say thank you to everyone for the response of all the videos, to Cal, people actually building with Cal, the conversations on Reddit, on YouTube, PRs being put in on GitHub, merci beaucoup, and the issues being tracked. It's been a big week, thank you very much, it's been awesome. And since releasing, we've shipped a lot already, Apple Silicon support, multi-MCP support, we've gone to server-side wake word and set a Pico voice, so now you're not tied to one device only which is a big deal for what we're gonna look at here today. It's moving fast and it's because of you. Thank you very much. Now let's get into it. If you haven't been following along, Cal is a voice assistant that I've been building. You can run it on your own hardware. It discovers tools automatically through N8N workflows and it even can build its own tools. The core components are LiveKit, Olama, N8N and then the voice pipeline. So LiveKit handles the whole agent person interaction with voice. And then it uses Olama as the brain, N8N workflows as its tools, and then speeches in Kokoro for the speech to text and the text to speech. There's also a front end available through a web interface. So you can connect to Cal and talk to Cal through your browser. Hello, I'm ready to help you with anything you need today. What can I do for you? But for a personal assistant, home assistant, I wanted to be able to deploy different endpoints throughout the home and making use of these old devices is a perfect way of doing that. And that's why I built the Android app. So you can just pull out an old phone or an old tablet, install the app, connect to the server and away you go. There's no SSL headaches, open wake word works. You can turn the screen off and it still listens. And it provides you with all the Cal functionality in every room of your house. So to install the app on your device, and for me, I'm using a fire tab here from one of the kids' old devices, go to CoreWorks Lab, the Cal project. Link will be in the description. Go all the way to the bottom where you see releases. So version 1.3. If it's not there, just click all releases and find 1.3. And within that release, there's a APK. So Cal V1.30 dot APK. Download that. Download. Download anyway. I've already downloaded it once. So it's 87 meg. It'll take a second to download. Okay, once it's downloaded, tap on it. And it may say you need to do a security setting. So on this version of Android, install unknown apps from Chrome, yes. Go back and then install. Okay, it's installed, we can open it. We'll come to this setup page. All you need to enter in is the URL of your front end. So we looked at the front end before. So I'll type in my address here. Okay, hit connect. And now you're ready to talk to Cal. Allow the mic. Hello, I'm ready to help you today. How can I assist you? Okay. And you can see the, the wake word detection is on. So the icon is blue. There's also settings here. So you can change the agent name, the voice, pick whichever voice you want. 
the LLM model you're running. This will look at a list of models available that you have installed already through Olama. You can do these custom wake greetings, one per line, enter them in here. So whenever you say the wake word, it'll automatically pick one of these wake greetings at random and it doesn't run through the LLM, so it's quick response. You can change your um, context size, your temperature settings, this keyboard out of here. Um, the max turns, tool cache. So the, the tool cache is when you get it to call a tool and it returns data with that tool, that's how many uh, tool calls it'll store of data before it starts clearing on a first in, first out basis. And then at the bottom is where you enable the wake word. So the wake word now runs on the server instead of on the device. So it's open wake word instead of Pico voice. Pico voice required a key. You could only use that key on one device. So if you're distributing through multiple devices, it's difficult to do that with Pico voice. And then choose your model. Right now it ships with Hey, I'm not gonna say it, and Hey Jarvis. And you can change the threshold to tweak that. And the timeout, the timeout is when you say the wake word, if you haven't said anything within three seconds, it'll go back to detecting wake word. So for all those setting changes, you'll have to change it, hit save, end the session, and then click back into Cal to get the new settings. Hello, I'm ready to help you with anything. How can I assist you today? So let's give it a try. Hey Cal. Hi there. Is the garage door open? The garage door is closed. Okay, and then you saw the, the green ear icon when he was listening, and then after he responded, it waited for that timeout period, which is configurable in the settings, three seconds for me to do any follow-up questions, and then it goes back to listening. And you can see the tool icon, so it called has get state with the garage door target, and let me know that it was closed. And that has get state is a N8N workflow that Cal called. And in that workflow, it calls Home Assistant to get the state of whatever target is requested. And if you're interested in the tech, this is built with Flutter. So it can be deployed as an Android app and an iOS app. So I'll be working on iOS in the coming weeks. The wake word detection runs with open wake word. There is nothing pre-built to work with live kit, so I had to do custom code to make this work with open wake word to run on the server, to always be streaming from the client to the server and listening for that wake word. Not very straightforward, but now it works and you can put it on as many devices as you want. And like I said, it ships with the wake words, hey Cal. Hey, what's up? Oh. Let me mute that. And also, hey Jarvis, training the wake word for hey Cal was not straightforward. Uh, it took a long time for me to do that. If you've ever tried to train a wake word, it's quite difficult. But I've got some custom code now to do that. Use some of my own recordings, plus using Kokoro synthetic speech to train the wake word. I'm going to wrap that up in a, in a repository so that people can use that as well. And that's it for this one, a quick one to show you the app and a bit of an update on where we're at with Cal and some of the features we've added. So grab that old phone, old tablet, install the app, let me know how it goes, and thanks for watching.